Well, this is officially good morning to my loving friends. So I want to wish you a wonderful day, a happy day, a prosperous day, a productive day, just an incredible day. My name is Sonia Ward, and I am from Harmony Success Solutions. You can find me at www.soniawardempowers.com. Listen, today I want to talk to you about the enemies in your life the enemy of your life truly there's only one enemy that actually works through others or uses others to get to you so you see all of these different people as people you can't trust which is true people who stand to be potential threats which is true people who may be sent to hurt or harm you which is true it's not that you need to become people paranoid but you need to understand that the enemy is a spirit and in order for it to operate on the natural level, it needs to find a natural being, being a human being. So today I want to tell you that the enemy is not something that you find in your life. The enemy is someone who, that is in pursuit of you. Now, the enemy chooses you. The question is, do you choose the enemy back? The enemy chooses you because you're chosen of God. Because God created you, he chose you. He creates no one to, to be disappointed by to be disappointed in. He creates no one with the hope or intent that he or she will fail. God creates no one without purpose and without a plan for your life. You know, and so I'm going to give you a little background music by none other than Sonia Elise, and it's called I'm My Worst Enemy. As I talk to you about this subject, the enemy of your soul has a plan for you, a plot for you, a design for you. The enemy of your soul knows that in order to get to you he has to use specific tactics to do it some of us are stronger than others some of us are weak in different areas than others but what you need to understand is that the enemy is very clear about what your weakness is why because you voice it why because you te you you tend to waddle in it for example if your weak weakness is alcoholism the enemy is going to try to work you through alcoholism if it's drug abuse and addiction he's going to work you through that if your weakness is sex, you're a sexaholic or, you know, um, you're a sex sexapath <laughs> and you need sex anonymous, the enemy is going to use your desire to feed your flesh through sex to get to you, to bring you down. Case in point, you could be married or in a relationship and he'll use sex to destroy it. Because at the end of the day, the highest way to honor God is to praise him through holy matrimony. Marriage is very holy and sacred and important. And number one, the enemy wants to destroy the potential of marriage. He prefer to keep you confused and going through person after person so that you never make the choice to pick someone and decide to commit yourself to them for the rest of your life here on earth. You understand? You know, he that finds a wife finds a good thing. So women be those good things. Women become those good things. Women be better and better at being that good thing. Men, look for a good thing. Don't abuse a good thing. Don't destroy a good thing. Don't tear down a good thing. You know, don't take advantage of a good thing. It's really important that when you find your good thing, you treat that good thing like a flower, like a queen, like like the queen she is. And for women, you have to treat that man like the king that he is. It takes two. I read something so profound on on a social network yesterday and it talked about a lot of people get married and expect that marriage should be full of love but marriage has no love marriage is truly I'm going to turn this down a little bit marriage is an empty box and and it, it takes two people who are vessels of love who are full of love who don't mind flowing in love who understand agape love unconditional love the kind of love that covers and protects and is kind and gentle so that it kind of buffers one another not the kind of love that tears down which is emotional which is flesh which is more likely to be lust excuse me than it is to be love so in marriage remember it's like an empty box marriage itself does not put the love into the union it takes the two people to do that I thought that was so important and in order to get married it takes two people to to come as two holes to be to come as two people who are loving individuals that love life that love themselves, that love others, that love their family, that are positive, and that are interested in sharing that love and giving that love to someone for the rest of his or her life. That's really important. So understand that the enemy is at work to destroy you. 
And if he can destroy you, you'll never become marriage material. You'll never become a man or a woman that somebody could could take into their life and keep for forever. Because see, some people can wind up married, but they wind up divorced or wind up in tumultuous marriages. It takes being a vessel of love to have a successful relationship. So kick the enemy out of your life. Kick the enemy out of yourself. The enemy is in strong pursuit of you to destroy your character, to, to destroy your reputation, to, to destroy your image, your hopes, your dreams, your passion, to walk all over your commitment, to walk all over your self-control. The enemy wants to tempt you and destroy you and is in hot pursuit of you. The enemy will choose you every single day. The point is, you don't have to choose the enemy back. So it's really important that you understand, though the enemy chooses you and will come at you and to you through temptation, you don't have to succumb to it. Again, I'm Sonia Ward from Harmony Success Solutions. Thank you for listening. If you like my channel, please subscribe to it. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Understand that it was very difficult for me to have this conversation with you today because yesterday I got my braces tightened I got two heavy wires on the top a heavier one on the bottom and something I think they call like a fence or a gate in the front to really make moves it is it, it is my understanding that from this day I have six more months in gel in teeth gel and tooth gel because they are hurting it is really taking an effort for me to have this conversation with you but at the end of the day when I finish I'll be able to give you a healthy wonderful and beautiful and confident smile but um, on a real note love yourself be good to yourself fill yourself with love every day so that you can be a vessel of love an example of it so that people can see you see that glow and decide hey that's something that I want for myself and when they ask you about it of course it's the Christ and you it's the God and you of course it's the precepts of God at the concept of, of walking in agape love which is unconditional of course it's all of those things but at the end of the day it takes you to be an example of it God bless you and thanks for stopping by You're listening to Sonia Elise. Fall in love with me over and over again. Fall in love with yourself over and over again. Be loving. Wanna get butterflies in my tummy. When somebody says if you need to get in touch with me, you can e me, email me at leap.empowerment at gmail.com. Again, that's leap, L-E-A-P dot empowerment at gmail.com. Okay? If you'd like to make an appointment or book time to talk with me about anything, about empowerment, about a business plan, about getting your life together, about an accountability partner, about an accountability lifestyle, about losing weight, about wellness and health. And above all, if you need to talk about sarcoidosis, I'm your girl because I am a sarcoidosis survivor. And as you know, April is National Sarcoidosis Awareness Month. And we're at the end of March and we're approaching April. So please do, if you know someone that has it, has sarcoidosis, give them a hug, send them, send them lots of love, you know, encourage them. Wear purple for them during the month of, of April. You know, purchase the products that help to go towards funding research and finding a cure. Do anything that you can to help with sarcoidosis because sarcoidosis is a very serious condition, a very serious life threatening condition, and we need your support. I love the song. I just want to fall in love over and over and over again. Isn't that great? In the beginning of the song, she says, I want to hear butterflies. Wait, no, she says, yeah, I want to get butterflies in my tummy when somebody says your name. Isn't that beautiful? Like, the minute you hear the name of the person you love, you get butterflies in your tummy. That's some serious love. Love. Today is about love. Kicking the enemy out of your life. And allow love to flow and glow and take control. Thanks for listening. And thank you, Sonia Elise, the Lady Rebel. You can find her at www.sonyaelise.com. That's S-O-N-Y-A-E. 
E L I S E. So there are two E's in there. Don't get it mixed up. She is the Lady Rebel. And you can find her on Facebook. Just look for Sonia M. Rebel or Sonia Elise. Or go to her YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash Sonia Elise. S O N Y A E E L I S E. Peace.